Walk away, pal. This doesn't concern you. We'll even be nice and forget that you were here. Let. Her. Go. Wh what are you gonna do about it? Go. Medieval? On my ass? I'd like to see you try. Shit, man, they're not paying me enough for this! Remember that next time you trifle with the Scourge of the North. For I am Percival Vane, son of... a uh, fine maiden. You have been saved. I am Percival Vane, son of... I could have handled them myself, you know. But thanks, I guess. I'm Sasha. Your thanks are not needed, Sasha. It is my sworn duty. What kingdom is this? I do not recognize your attire. Kingdom? I, I don't understand. Yes, that is what I said. Last I remember, I was fox hunting with Alexius. Then everything goes black. Alas, the damned Celts must have ambushed us and left me wherever here is. Well, here is Illinois. America. The closest thing you'll find to royalty is in fast food commercials. Don't be daft, woman. Henry II sits on the throne of the Brightons. Louis VII on the throne of the Normans. What year do you think it is? Why, the year of our Lord, 1154. 11? No, no, it's 2009. Preposterous. You know, if you won't help me, then perhaps I'll find someone. Wait! Who will. Is it not 11? Eleven. Eleven. Let's get you off the street. I think you could use a drink. So, who exactly are you? My name is Percival Vane, the son of Vane the Bastard. Scourge of the North. Yeah, you've made that pretty clear. Well, can I just call you Percy? Suppose so. My life can't possibly become more, you pendant. Nothing here is the way it was back in my kingdom. Here we go again. Uh, what? Where, where are we going now? You're not that bright, are you? I am a man, not a candle. No, I... You're not joking about this. You're actually an honest-to-God knight. As honest as gospel. Yet, I find that meaningless now. My entire life dedicated to a cause I cannot fulfill. How do you mean? When I was a boy, my father was on the High Court of Camelot and the Lord of our estate. His court mage Alexius oft said that his hand was the only thing keeping peace in our kingdom. I had just become a squire to Sir Lucian, and we were celebrating my trials. It was a, it was a grand feast for kings and serfs alike. As my father stood to toast in my name, dark wizard in the crowd let up a terrible bolt of light striking my father in the chest. What the? The bolt then bounced off him and hit a gold chalice, ricocheted into my brother's face, arced into my mother, and electrocuted the hunting dog before hitting the roast of venison and exploding. I was the only one to survive. And in the chaos, a magician escaped. It was then that I made a solemn vow to myself. I would not rest until I had purged the evil from this world to avenge my family. Did you? And most unhappily, no. I traveled to the ends of the known world with Alexius, training and searching to no avail. And now I can never give that justice. I have failed. I think I might be able to help you redeem yourself. Well, you're just who I've been hoping for. 
Sorry, but how can you possibly redeem me? My... my brother, Harrison, went missing a few weeks ago. He was investigating a pharmaceutical company and said something about them conducting illegal experiments on humans and wanting to expose them. Almost all of what you just said was lost on me. Please explain in the King's English, without your future words. Right. <laughs> My brother was about to expose a very dangerous group of people for performing very dangerous tests, but they found out. If this group is as dangerous as you say they are, it may not be the right help. I am out of my element. For all we know, your brother may already be dead. But see, I don't think he is. I think he was kidnapped and being tested on, but I think I found him. That's what those guys were on me about. He's alive and they don't want me getting any closer. Please, Percival, I need your help to save him. Even then, I'm still not sure. I know you weren't able to save your family. But together, we could still save mine. Please, Percy. We're not out of time yet. Sasha, I will help you. No one should have to deal with the pain of loss. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> so, you say you know where this dungeon lies? Downtown. Well then, onward! You don't know where we're going. Not a shred. Lead the way. It'll probably be quickest to drive there. My car's in a garage not too far from here. Uh, sorry, a, a gear what? Right, sorry. It's a place underground where you keep your um, large metal horse. Ah, like a cave. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, I was attacked by a bear in a cave once. Not sure how I feel about that. Relax. It's perfectly safe. Well, it is now. I killed the bear. So, how often do you guys drink alcohol? Not all the time. I could go for a margarita, though. And what is that? It's tequila and lime juice. Tequila? Now that is fun to say. Why is there footwear hanging from those long ropes? over there. I don't, I don't know. People just put it up there because they think it's funny. Well, that seems like an awful waste, doesn't it? Well, they're not that expensive. Then they are mine! Percy! I cannot not. about Harrison. He's a lot like you, actually. Naturally. He wants to help people. Sure. He's a little too smart for his own good, though, so maybe not that similar. Hmm. My brother used to say I have the intellect of a sheep. A sheep? Yes, yes. I run from dogs. <laughs> Do people live in this garden? You mean, like, that guy over there? Yes. No, that's, that's a statue. I used flails, pikes, spears, maces, long swords, short swords, daggers. I think that's all of them. Fascinating. Have you ever been in a joust? Ah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how'd you guys sleep with all these artificial suns everywhere? The lights? Yes. <laughs> you can turn them off. So, when I go to bed, I just flip the switch. Magical. What do you do in your kingdom? Usually we'd grab like a pointy stick and light it on fire. Well, isn't that dangerous? I am not afraid of the elements. At least with all these lights everywhere, it'd be exceptionally difficult to sneak up on someone. Well, that's not true. No? No, because you can... Hey, you two! I'm afraid you're not going to be making it downtown. Oh no, have we taken a wrong turn? What? No, I mean, I mean, I'm going to kill you. So you can't, was that? I thought I made that clear, was that not clear? <laughs> Love the confidence, buddy. All right, that's it. You're out of time.
<laughs> I believe you are. How did you say? Out of time. Oh, my time may be up. But you're not gonna like what comes next. What in God's name? Percy? He appears to be undead? No shit, you moron! We need to go! By God's bones. Hello? You there? Are you okay? Well, I'm tied to a chair and have a car battery attached to my nipples. What do you think? I take it then you must be Harrison. Sasha's brother? <laughs> brother? No, you moron! She's the reason I'm here! That cannot be right! She asked me to help find you! No, Percival, he is exactly correct. The best lies are built on something true. Alexius? Sasha? <laughs> Sasha? What's going on in here? The realization of 1,000 years of study. I made you and now it is time to remake you. How nice. A family reunion. I, I don't understand. Well, neither did your father. And what a pity that was. Together, we could have been a force to be reckoned with. You son of a... Uh, I, I, I am not done monologuing. All these years, and it was you the whole time? You killed my father? He wouldn't help me, so I had to help myself. You had great potential, but he wouldn't let you reach it. I saw raw darkness in you. All I did was nudge you in the right direction, help you get stronger. With you at my control, no force could stand in my way of total dominion. But, just as I had nearly figured out the spell that would bind you to me, you vanished. Let's hurry up the exposition here, Dr. Convenient. Backstory is important. How are you alive? Have you even been listening? I'm a dark wizard! Magic! But can only do so much. The centuries have drained me. I am now more man than magic. Though, in a millennium, I've learned so much more than that. Attempting to create the perfect soldier is bloody work. And little Harrison here was about to tell everyone what we were doing. And we can't have the feds knocking now, can we? Though they'd probably hear magic and think we're doing card tricks. Eat me. Last year, I was able to test a device that would be able to bridge two points on Earth and travel between them. But we discovered something else. It didn't just bridge two points, but also two times. I still don't understand. Even in 900 years, I hadn't forgotten about you. My first experiment. Sasha's machine opened a new door. A door to you. Now. My first experiment shall be my last. And you, you will be beautiful. Over my dead body. Well, semantics aside, you do have to be dead for the sorcery to work properly. Could never quite figure that one out. Anyway, have fun.
Sasha! Make in! Sasha! Why are you doing this? We got dental! You'll need it! <laughs> no! P -p Perhaps I misjudge your strength. Please, I, I, I beg you to spare me, son of pain! You spare my father! Yeah, Percival, find it in your heart. No, nobody else has to die in here. He's right. No one else has to die in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Harrison. Your kindness will not be forgotten. <laughs> but someone's gonna. <sighs> Easy now, friend. Oh, I'm fine. I was trying to breath. Turning into a murderous Halloween decoration will do that to you. I must get you help. No! You need to leave. But, but what about you? I've caused you enough trouble already. It's not safe around me anymore. Hey. You did good, kid. I'm sure you'd be proud. I know so. It's been a year to the day since I wound up here. And every day is a little stranger than the last. I've made some friends, some enemies too. But my work never stops. It's my duty to clean up these streets, chew up the bad apples. After all, they're the ones that are out of time. <laughs> Thank you.